Hello, welcome to the GTB South Sudan Global. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe as we will continue to bring you informative videos. Have you been following the news lately? President Salva Kiir, for reasons only known to himself, fired Angelina Tange, Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs. To our viewers who don't know Angelina Tange, she is the wife of past Vice President of South Sudan, Dr. Yakmacha Tange. Angelina and her husband come from the SPLM IO party. They joined the revitalized government courtesy of the 2018 peace agreement between the SPLM IG and the armed opposition groups, including SPLM IO. The revitalized peace agreement gives the signatories to the peace accord powers of consultation devoid of unilateralism. Unfortunately, the political marriage between the SPLM IG by President, led by President Salva Kiir, and SPLMIO, led by First Vice President Dr. Yak Mashar, has been rocky and bloody. Oftentimes, the SPLMIO faction has been watching helplessly as its members get hounded out of offices through presidential decrees instigated by President Salva Kiir. Case in point is former Speaker of Jongle State Legislative Assembly. Right Honorable Amir Mayan, a diehard member of the SPLM IO, whom President Salva Kiir fired without consulting his fellow co principal, Dr. Yak Mashar. In our today's analysis, we have analyzed poor political implications that arise from President Salva Kiir's action in terminating Angelina Tange from the Defense and Veteran Affairs Ministerial Docket. Here are they. Number one, slowdown of 2024 South Sudan general elections preparations. The hate President Salva Kiir's action has generated is going to have severe effects on our preparations for the upcoming 2024 South Sudan general elections. This is because the erosion of political will and trust between the SPLMIG and SPLMIO factions is going to negatively affect the adoption of measures, e.g. voter registration, delimitation of counties, boundaries, and institution of a non-partisan electoral commission agency, among others. As parties to the 2018 revitalized peace agreement continue to squabble, the government is bound to lose its focus on this crucial 2024 South Sudan general elections preparations. The sad result will be another extension which South Sudanese will never accept. Number two, derailment of services delivery. Accusations and counter-accusations between the SPLMIG under President Salva Kiir and SPLMIO under First Vice President Dr. Yak Mashar is going to distract the revitalized government in discharging services to the citizens. As the members of the opposing side fire ballistic missiles at each other, the average South Sudanese will be caught unaware in the political crossfire. We had the two principals, President Salva Kiir and First Vice President Dr. Yak Mashar, to bring their troops to order. At this perilous time, when our economy is in pre fall, the last thing South Sudanese want to see is nonsensical internal sign, endless political wars. Number three, increase of citizenry's disillusionment in the revitalized government. Due to endless politicking, by the political onshows from the two dimensions, SPLMIG and SPLMIO, South Sudanese are starting to lose confidence in the ability of the revitalized government to provide solutions to common pressing problems, e.g. acute hunger, intercommunal violence, and cattle wrestling across the country. Number four, limitation of women quota in key government ministries. The firing of Angelina Tange from the Defense and Veteran Affairs Ministerial Docket actually whittled down the number of women in key government ministries. We hope the President, his advisors, and all other plutocrats understand the logic of empowering women by giving them opportunities to serve their country. Also, gender violence in leadership breeds new ideas as women bring their experience and well outlook to the table. As such, we hope President Salva Kiir will assign another key ministerial docket to Angelina Tain. It is prudent 
we maintain the gender balance equation. In conclusion, we urge President Salva Kiir to always console his core principal, First Vice President Dr. Yak Mashar, in all matters concerning governance. We hope that the two leaders and the allies will put the interests of South Sudan first. This means that they have to put aside their differences and work for the benefit of all the South Sudanese. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the GTB South Sudan Global.